This is the legendary Russian helmet, the Alton. This thing has a ballistic face shield and has a layer of titanium inside it. And today we're gonna see if it can stop the world's largest shoulder fired rifle, the four bore. This behemoth of a gun weighs over 20 pounds. Its barrel is one inch in diameter and it will be producing over 200 pounds of felt recoil. This is a four bore, 2,150 grains and this is it compared to a Snickers bar and a Red Bull. Oh, here we go. Oh! Oh! What's up everybody, my name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics and I am very excited about today's video because today we have the legendary titanium Russian Alton helmets. These helmets are still in use today. They weigh about eight or nine pounds and they're supposed to be highly durable. And that's because it has a layer of titanium inside it and it has a ballistic face shield. It's supposed to be rated for shrapnel, handguns, and some rifles. But today, we are gonna put it to the ultimate test and shoot it with the world's largest shoulder-fired rifle, the four bore. And just in case you don't know, let me educate you real quick on what a four bore is. So this is a Christian firearms falling block single shot four bore rifle. This behemoth of a rifle weighs over 20 pounds. It has a one inch bore and it will be producing upwards of 200 pounds of felt recoil. So this is a 5.56 five, round. That is a 55 grain bullet. And this is its big, big brother, the 50 BMG. That is a 50 caliber bullet that weighs 660 grains. And that's pretty big, but not compared to the four bore. That is a one inch in diameter round and it weighs 2,150 grains. It would take 39 5.56 five, bullets to make one four bore bullet. And for those of you watching who are not very familiar with firearms, here's the four bore compared to a Snickers bar and a Red Bull. So now that you know a little bit about the helmet and you know what the four bore is, we are gonna get started and I am very excited to do so. I'm gonna go grab our first gun and we're gonna get loaded up. Okay, the first gun that I'm gonna start out with is a kel PMR-30 chambered in 22 Magnum, and I have some 40 grain 22 Magnum. Here we go. I don't think it had any problem stopping that. Um, yeah, I think you would be perfectly fine if you were wearing this helmet and you were hit with a 22 Magnum. I mean, there's barely even a dent there, like nothing. Okay, that helmet ate the 22 Magnum for breakfast. So we're gonna step it up to something a little bit bigger. This is a Glock 17 chambered in nine millimeter and I have some Underwood ammo, 147 grain plus P nine mil. All right, here we go. Nine mil to the dome. Oh. It looks like I hit the visor portion right here and uh, it just ate it. Nothing, you would be perfectly okay with that. I mean, I probably should take one more shot though and actually hit it in the helmet. I'm glad I did that because that is a pretty good dent in the old noggin. So these helmets, there is some like padding and whatnot in there. I don't think you would have had a concussion or anything like that, but you would have known that you got smacked with a nine mil. You know, this fella is really ugly, but you know what else is ugly? Debt. It seems most people have experienced debt or currently have debt, and it's really easy to accumulate a lot of it. And once you do, it can be very difficult to dig yourself out. 
I've experienced this in my own life, but unfortunately at the time there were not many solutions out there. But thankfully there's companies out there now like today's sponsor, PDS Debt. PDS Debt has customized solutions for anyone struggling with debt, whether it be credit cards, personal loans, collections, or uh, medical bills. This is quite a mess, and PDS can help you clean up your mess. They will roll all of your monthly payments into one low interest-free monthly payment. Everyone with 10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there's no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit is accepted. PDS debt will help you to save thousands in interest and fees and help you to pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. Right now, PDS Debt is offering a free debt analysis and it only takes 30 seconds. Just swing over to pdsdebt.com forward slash KYB to get your free debt assessment today. A link to that can also be found in the description down below. A big thank you to PDS Debt for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's go get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip a few steps and step it up to 44 Magnum. I think I may be pushing the limits of the helmet with this caliber, but we're gonna try it anyways. So this is my Magnum Research 44 Magnum, and I'm loaded up with some Underwood ammo, 44 Magnum, 240 grain jacketed hollow points. Okay, so try not to hit it in the same spot. Let's go check that out. Well, I was trying not to hit in the same spot as the nine mil, so I was aiming in this area, and it looks like it ricocheted off the side of the helmet. So I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it one more time, but to be fair, I'm just gonna go ahead and turn him this way, and that way I can just aim dead center, and I don't have to worry about hitting a spot that we've already shot. All right, round two. Oh! That was pretty bad. <laughs> okay, let's inspect, shall we? Um, looks like I hit right there. This guy caught something to the face, but it doesn't look bad. That's more like paint or cloth. Oh, we hit it right in the face shield. Well, that kind of stinks because I really wanted to shoot this face shield with some buckshot. And uh, now it's kind of broken. It seems like this helmet could eat a 44 Magnum. So I'm going to go ahead and stop where we're at because I need to save some helmet for the four bore. I think that's enough preliminary testing. Let's go ahead and step it up to the grand finale and hit this thing with the four bore. I would not want to be wearing that helmet. Oh, all right. Before I shoot this thing, if you are not subscribed to Kentucky Ballistics, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Oh, here we go. Oh. Well, looks like a bad day for that guy. <laughs> These things are so ridiculous. They're like a tuning fork when they come out. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. So he was facing this way, but most of the damage is on this side of his head. So, oh, looks like we hit right there. There's a hole right there. And then if I flip him around, you can see that uh, that's all blowed out. All right, we have our face shield here that was secured with duct tape. And it looks like it is blown into two pieces now. I guess that was 
together. Um, here's some of the helmet. Some of the inside of the helmet. That's like all your padding and everything. And then the helmet is way over here. Boy, oh boy. This thing looks messed up. So let's see here. He was fake. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that hole. That is a big hole. Pointer, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. You almost fit all your fingers in there. Golly. And then it looks like we blew through the other side of the helmet. So now I think it's safe to say that if you are wearing a titanium Alton helmet, you are not safe from a full bore. I wanna take one more shot. So I'm gonna piece this guy back together. He doesn't really have anything inside his head anymore. So uh, I'm gonna put a can of Red Bull and a can of Crush in there. The helmet will hold these sodas in place. Oh yeah. Oh dear. Well, the helmet fits him a little snug now because it's kind of deformed. That's good, there we go, yeah. So I think that we've made it pretty clear that a four bore does not care about titanium helmets, but we're gonna go ahead and shoot it one more time anyways. I've got it turned around so we can shoot the back of it and I have a 55 gallon drum set up so that we can possibly catch the bullet. So now I have another 2,150 grain round and we are gonna blast this thing. Oh, time to ride the lightning again. Oh, here we go. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Okay, well, that was much more eventful than the first shot. Our helmet is about 30 yards away. Let's uh, go retrieve it, shall we? I can see here that we do not have a hole in our 55 gallon drum. So is there a hole in the back of this helmet? Uh, yep, <laughs> there is. There is another giant hole in the back of this thing. <laughs> it's even bigger than the first hole. First hole, second hole. It's even bigger. I'm pretty sure that I can get two, yeah, I can get two thumbs in there. Oh, okay. So I, right here, we've got a nice little dent in the front. So it looks like we went through the back and then we hit right there. This knot right here on the front of the helmet. You would not be safe, but the guy that's in front of you would be okay. <laughs> Here is our face shield. So our face shield does not look like it has any new damage. I looked at the slow-mo footage and I thought that the glass is what stopped the round, but it turns out that just busted from the sheer force. It looks like the lip of this helmet is what stopped the round. So that means the round should be somewhere around here. Here's Mr. Dummy and um, Oh my gosh. Yeah, so we hit him in the back, obviously. There's not much new damage there, but here in the face, um, he's all falling up. Ow! Hit me in the eye. <laughs> I guess I should keep my safety glasses on the whole video. And looky there. That is the round, literally laying right there by the table. And it is smushed. That is such a big giant chunk of lead. <laughs> so my scientific conclusion today is that the four bore is still a force to be reckoned with. What else would you...
what else would you like to see me shoot with the four bore? Let me know in the comment section down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please give it a like and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on Kentucky Ballistic Breakdowns, Kentucky Ballistic Shorts, Kentucky Customs, Patreon, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links to all those can be found in the description down below, along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com, just in case you want to pick up a shirt. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics. I'll see you next time.